I am really sorry, and I hope everyone knows that. I made, I made a really poor decision, horrible decision, and the only thing I could do is move forward and better myself and become a better person. I can't go back in the past. So, In the beginning, when it was just me and me streaming only, Santi's never met Lacey before. You all probably saw the screenshot. And it said, where I said, don't tell anyone. You can never let anyone know we're not cousins. Uh, I guess I didn't say that. And I mostly met the public. Because people think it's weird if they see a girl hanging out with a guy. I don't fucking know. I've seen other social media people do that. Don't know why I did it. It was kind of fucking pointless. Um, so yeah. I did say that. That was around March. Um... Lacey and Santi have never met at that time, so that wasn't too, um, Lacey, you know, I wasn't saying, don't say that to Lacey Rudder. He met Lacey the first time, I think it was the 420 stream, and, um, yes, that is when we should have told him. Don't know why we didn't. Stupid as hell. There was said to be... A contract where I was out to use Nick. There was absolutely no contract. There was no contract whatsoever. And Santi went live on Lacey's account and said there was a contract in the NDA. Then he went live on his own account and said there was no contract and there was no NDA. And even Santi texted me and said there was no NDA and there was no contract. I mean, if I'm in a fucking contract, you'd think I'd be streaming more than fucking 40 hours a month. I barely streamed. I barely posted TikToks and I barely did Snapchat. I had one manager, which you guys know, who was not involved in this. He didn't do anything. Which is Feldy. He's, he didn't know anything. He, um... Okay, Yoxic. He didn't know anything. He was just trying to help me out. Um... But no, there is literally no contract. There is absolutely no contract to use Lacey. There is no NDA to make Santi not say anything. And that's that. I never once flirted with Salty. And I made it very clear to him that I did not want anything to do with it. There's a text, which I'm pretty sure, I don't know if um, Clicks pulled it up, but I sent it to him. And it was basically, it was basically him, oh my god, the song shit, the song shit, guys. Yo, this motherfucker just left Faye's house going on a plane and he says, this song reminds me of you. Then sends a sad song. Then I send a sad song back. I meant that in no way. I didn't mean that to flirt or anything. Because he sent another song after that. I kind of just fucking ignored it. And then he sent another song after that that was sad. And then I sent a fucking sad song. I never wanted Santi. I never did anything with Santi. He was always the one texting me. Oh, I'm in love with you. We'll never be anything. You don't want me. Blah, blah, blah. I have to, I have to talk to... Bree and Allie did not think about you. I never wanted him. But that that was just really weird to me. Um we want proof. Proof of what? I mean Santi 
knows, Sansi knows I've never, I've never done anything with him and I've literally never fucking flirted with him. He, he knows that. He knows I did not want anything with him. That's why he would text me. And it's really funny that he brought it up. He was like, oh, she always threatens to kill herself. Myself. I was going through a really, really, really fucking hard time in my life. And there was one point where I did say that and I was not okay. I was genuinely not okay. I wouldn't say that over and over again. Like I never, I'm never one to say that unless I actually feel like it. I was going through a hard time. None of you guys know that. I keep a smile on my face. I act fine. Back to what I was saying. He, he was saying I was, I was gonna kill myself and stuff, but he, he texted me one night at 4 a.m. talking, or 4 a.m. and said, oh, I wanna kill, yeah. And I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that on live. Um, he went and said that and said, I have no friends, like blah, 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 no one likes me, all this stuff. I, I only thought of Santi as like a little brother. I, I did not think anything more of him at all. And he knows that because I wouldn't give him any fucking attention. I wouldn't give him any attention. So, I never wanted anything to do with him. I was trying to be his friend. Now I know not to do that. Because guys just fucking... I guess something goes through their brain and they're like, Oh, yeah, this girl wants me. Just trying to be your friend. and help him after this girl hurt him or whatever and it just turned into this I literally had a I literally had a um, text with Sansi today and I was like um, saying he lied about the NDA and he literally said I already said there's no NDA and haven't and have spoken about it the last two times I've been live I own up to that shouldn't have lied about the cousin shit it was actually pointless I don't know what the fuck I don't know what the point of that was I never did shit with Santi I never liked Santi I never I never wanted anything to do with him I was his friend and that's all I wanted to be I Wish him the best, I guess. There was this statement that I made 100K off of Snap from Lacey. My God. Um, damn, I don't, I think David Dobrik might make that. I, I think, I, maybe David Dobrik makes that? Um, I remember I was sitting down eating a bagel and we were talking. I was like, yeah, you, you guys should post on Snap. Like, it's just like, you know, telling them. Maybe you guys should post on Snap. And I said, people make like 100K. I never fucking said I made 100K on Snap. I literally showed Nick how much, or I said I was going to show him how much I made. I never made that much on Snap in a fucking month. If I made that much on Snap in a month, damn, like, I'd have my own fucking mega mansion. Never said that. I said people make 100K a month off of Snap. And I was literally saying, I was, post on Snap, fucking post on Snap. Just clearing that up, that I never made 100K off of Snap. And that was really fucking stupid. That was actually fucking stupid. The majestic thing, oh my God. Guys, I called Jude Bellingham. I already went over this like a month ago, bro. Oh my god. 
Jude Bellingham is majestic. Whoa. We were talking about celebrity crushes and a TikTok of Jude popped up on my page. Um, I did not flirt with any of the other guys there. Didn't want anything with them. I literally, the only conversation after I left their room was if I left my glasses there. Um, oh, oh, also, I didn't know which one to choose. Bro, I don't want to say names. I don't want to say names. I just don't want to say names. Um, someone came up to me and went on the couch and they were like, like with their nails like this, like, oh, which one do you want? Which one do you want now that Lacey and you are done? It was, it was so fucking weird and so fucking stupid. Like, actually, I'm not naming names, but I'm not talking about my nails. I'm not lying. There's nothing to fucking lie about. Everything is already out. But I never once flirted with any of the guys there. Honestly, Silky, all he said was the snap thing. That's, that's all. So he's out of the picture now. But whoever else it was, it was Big X and the other guy, I don't even remember his name. They were on the couch asking me, trying to, like... Are you, are you, they're like, are you, are you physically attracted to him? Like, all this, all that, like, it. And then later on, like, a few days later, after they know all this shit is going on, sends me a fucking eggplant emoji on Snap. You're really looking out for your quote-unquote friend there, right? Whatever. Okay, well, all that stuff. I apologize. I told you guys what's true and what's false, whether you believe me or not. I don't, there's no point in lying anymore, so. Okay, now the big thing. Now the big thing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna own up to my mistakes. Um. Not gonna defend myself. I'm just gonna say what I did. When a little bit before me and Nick started doing content, I was already planning on getting back with Bryce. And Nick knew that because when we first did content, it was just content, literally content. And I told him, I was like, talking about it to him kind of, and I was like, we might get back together after the first stream, I'm pretty sure, which me and Nick were like nothing. It was just content at that point. Like there was nothing. It was literally content. Um, and I was, I was fine with doing that content. Next. Yes, I did move in with Bryce. Um, I was planning on getting back with him, but at that point, Nick didn't have anything. It was, like I said, literally just content. And I didn't really think anything about it. Um, as time went on, things started getting serious. And it was kind of scary. I didn't really know, like, what the fuck to do. And I was basically like, oh, fuck. Like, Bryce, Bryce wants to get back with me. And now I have Nick catching feelings. And I'm just like, I thought it was content at first. And then I was like, fuck, like, it's. It's actually getting serious. Like, I'm fucked. And I, I did fuck up. And I really fucked up. And I will never forgive myself because I was not sure of what to do. 
Um, I was trying not to hurt anyone, and I ended up hurting everyone. I was, I was kind of like back and forth, like half the time me and Bryce were fighting, half the time I was just like, I don't, I don't fucking know. Um, big question, was it real or was it fake? It, it wasn't fake. Like, I genuinely cared. I did mean the things I said, but I always, in the back of my head, I was like, fuck, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I didn't know what I was doing, and I've only dated two people in my life. Not good with relationships, not, I don't know, just haven't had the best. Um, when I went to LA, I was not talking to Bryce at all. And then I came back here, and then I just, like, you know. Again, I was stuck, and I was like, fuck, like, what do I do? I was just actually fucking confused on what to do, and I didn't want to hurt anyone, and I... I was going back and forth in my head. I don't know what I'm lying about. I'm literally telling you guys what was happening. Um... Oh, by the way, let me clear this up. I am not suing anyone. Just to make this clear, I'm not suing anyone. I explained the situation to my mom, and she understood why this shit was happening. I'm not suing anyone. I never even sent a text. I don't want to sue anyone. I don't... There's... I would never do that. I don't know. I... I know I made a mistake. I can't go back into the past. The only thing I can do is move forward. Holy fuck, bro. I, I apologize to who I needed to apologize. I'm not smiling, it's just I'm fucking anxious. Um, I had very genuine talks with the person and the people that I need to apologize to. And off like social media like I called them and stuff and I said sorry and everything I mean I am very sorry I don't know you guys can say I'm not sorry but I am I I was just by myself you were I was literally by myself like I've been by myself thinking and thinking and thinking and regrouping and like kind of just I don't know. I am really sorry and I hope everyone knows that. I made, I made a really poor decision, horrible decision and the only thing I could do is move forward and better myself and become a better person, I can't go back into the past, so. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. Don't really know what I was thinking, but I am really stupid. That's all I'll fucking say. Only sorry because you got caught. No, I've had this feeling like I just like, for a while I was just like, it wasn't six months by the way guys, it was like two months where I was, doesn't make it any better, but I'm just saying it's too much where shit got serious and I was completely out of loss of what to do. I didn't know what the fuck to do. I'm trying to say feel bad for me. I'm not saying accept my apology. All I'm saying is I'm owning up to my mistake and I know I fucked up. I'm not smiling, guys. I'm fucking, like, I'm obviously anxious. I'm not smiling. I, I, get, I get nervous.